Hey everybody, I'm Johnny Scoble and this is Chase the Heat. We're at Blazing Foods, Chase the Heat headquarters. Happy to be here. Look what I got. Alihara. Look at how exotic that label looks. Huh? Come on. Will you look at that? I dig it. All right, guys, this is from Herkberry Farms, my friend Drew Jacobson and, and Steve Best. Um, very excited about this sauce. Now, let me tell you, I really do dig the label. Man, they, such a complete sauce company. The labels, the ingredients, the flavor, the aroma. I'm excited to try this one. When you hear the ingredients and the whole story behind this sauce, you will love it. We've got Jamie right here making uh, death nuts. Give us a shout out, Jamie. There she is. We got, that was Josh. He's making peanuts. We got Al in the back. We got Junior over here. I love the energy here, man. There's Josh in the back. All right, guys, listen to this. Herdbury Farm proudly presents Alahara. All right, it's a North African inspired super hot sauce. And it means, in, in Arabic, it means uh, it is hot. All right. Uh, it's a limited edition release that will transport you to a faraway place. The wild heat from the Carolina Reapers uh, and Herdbury Farm grown super hot chilies paired with the uh, aromatic toasted whole spices and pomegranate that a traveler might have procured on the uh, ancient Silk Road. Man, every story, every sauce has a story. All right, with, uh, with the addition of uh, other locon, or locally conscious, uh, sourced produce like roasted carrots, sweet pe uh, pepper, zucchini, heirloom tomatoes, which is cool, uh, fresh herbs. This limited edition soup rod is a great addition to kebabs, dips, marinades, and many other culinary uh, creations. Now, Here's the cool thing, their heat level on this, boom, 10 out of 10. So we're gonna find out. Now listen to this, as far as suggested pairings, we got kebabs, it's great on dips, hummus, uh, baba ganoush, uh, guacamole salads, grilled foods, uh, poultry, lamb, beef, pork, so, uh, seafood, vegetables, things like that. Uh, shawarama and falafel, great word, say it with me, falafel. All right, we got flatbread, pizzas, curries. You get the idea, it's very, very uh, versatile. But listen to the list of ingredients. The ingredients are very cool. Water, white, uh, white vinegar, pomegranate juice, uh, sugars, organic cane sugar, fresh red bell peppers, fresh uh, habaneros, roasted heirloom tomatoes, fresh fatali chilies, big fan of fatalis. Fresh garlic, Carolina Reapers, yellow seven pot chilies, roasted carrots, zucchini, zucchini, come on. Uh, lemon juice, kosher salt, dried apricots, fresh parsley, fresh ginger, dried orange peel, cinnamon, fresh mint leaves, black peppercorns, cumin, turmeric, star anise, xanthan gum, cloves, Onta and Ontario saffron threads. Now, saffron is one of the most expensive uh, spices you can get. It's the, the way they process it. You can't, apparently, the, the, what I've read is that you can't process that stuff easily. So it's, it's very, very, uh, a lot of intensive hours, uh, manual labor. Was that a ridiculous list of ingredients? I mean, I've said this before in videos, but if you took all of those ingredients and sent them to 500 different sauce makers, Nothing would say that would taste the same. Everybody's would taste differently and somehow he's able to take all those ingredients and combine them into this One thing that I love about Drew sauces is that they're they oftentimes are very very complex And the way I kind of define a complex sauce is that you'll taste and smell things differently all the time It's always kind of evolving in aroma and taste. We're not tainting our sauce, bro We're using the chase heat hot sauce, but we encourage you to you know, we were growing up uh, using metallic spoons and that will absolutely alter the taste of your food. Quit tainting your sauce. So the way you can stop that is we're going to johnnyscoble.com and get this. Mother of Pearl. Now when very, very rich folks eat uh, caviar, sometimes they can spend in excess of $100,000 a serving. This is the only thing they'll use, all right? Because it will not taint their caviar. If it's good enough for rich people, it's good enough for us chiliates. Okay, the aroma. Huh. Oh wow, I got the cinnamon on that one. It's already a complex aroma. You're getting different things. Certainly, the cinnamon is beautiful. A little bit of uh, uh, citrus, I think, from the orange. Certainly getting a lot of the peppers. A little bit of the ginger. 
I think, I, I'm not sure if I'm getting the cloves. I almost feel like I'm getting a little bit of the mint. But I promise you, this is one of those sauces. You're gonna smell different things every time you smell it. You'll pick up different things. My mouth is watering. This is the way to start your day. Here's the pour, people. All right. Beautiful looking sauce. Look at this stuff. That could be a saffron thread right there. How cool is that? I'm gonna leave that thing hanging there. All right, guys, Alahara from Hurtberry Farms. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Wow. This might be the hottest sauce I've had from Hurtberry Farms. Oh, it's absolutely the hottest from Hurtberry. It may be the hottest I've ever had from Drew. I think the year of the rooster was a hot one. Wow. Super spicy sauce. I don't mean heat. You're getting the cloves, the cinnamon, the, the ginger. Just a very complex sauce, but full on straight away heat. She's got some heat, people. Um, the burn is just, you know, sometimes you get these sauces where you get the flavor first and then the, the heat sort of creeps in. This is a mouthful of heat and flavor at the same time. I'll tell you what, I'm definitely getting the ginger. I'm gonna have a little bit more. Hot sauce though, you guys. They say this is a 10 out of 10. If you're not a chili head, this is a 10. On point, guys. star anise you get that a little bit that's what I mean about a complex sauce I kid you not if you get these sauces I know you guys a lot of you guys have this already if you've tried alahara tell me online you, you can taste this every single time you taste this you're gonna you'll it'll, you'll taste it a different way you'll pick up different things really a neat sauce my heat's probably uh my tolerance is on its way back up because I got some special things coming your way so this is probably like a two two on my scale Maybe a three, I don't know. Flavor's off the hook though. I wish I could like actually just sit down and taste some, uh, some saffron so I could know what saffron specifically tastes like because I really don't. So, some of the complexities in this sauce could be coming from that. The star anise and the cinnamon really work well together with the ginger. It's such a clutch sauce. Wow. So it's gluten-free, people. Low sodium, low sugar, GMO-free, all natural. Come on, North African-inspired hot sauce. Guys, listen, if you haven't tried anything from Hurtberry Farms and you're a chili head, this would be a good one to start with. But I, I will tell you this, it's got some heat. Um, if you're not at all accustomed to heat, this one will get your attention in a hurry. My lips are burning. The burn is not in my throat. A lot of times Reapers and Seven Pot Primas will attack your throat. The burn is not in my throat so much, it's on my tongue. And ironically, uh, oddly enough, it's the front of my tongue. Such a funny thing how peppers and sauces will burn you differently. It really is, different type of burns, different uh, as far as how it comes after you, um, where it burns, how long it burns. It's incredible. But the flavor of this sauce really is neat. It's complex in aroma and flavor. And I'm telling you, if you guys like a really spicy, flavorful sauce. It's gonna, this is going to be authentic to South, uh, to North African. You got to check this out, you guys. So in the description box, you'll see a link for Hurtberry Farm. Click on that, and please tell them Johnny sent you. Drew and I go way back. I mean, when I absolutely started my my channel, uh, Drew was someone I was that. Drew was very special. Drew was one of the first people I, I was doing reviews for. Um, so I've watched him do this, and it's just been really, really fun. But wow, what a sauce! Um, if you uh, have tried it, go to the comment section. Please tell me what you think. Drew, Steve, they'll read the comments, and I, I read all of them. Got some really exciting things coming up. Look at my burns healing, you guys. Cool. Just getting there. May have to touch up, uh, touch up the tattoos a little bit. But I'm all about that. Guys, I appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to hang out with me today. Right there, you're going to see our pepper. If you've never clicked that pepper before, please do that. When you do, you're part of our family. If you don't want to miss a video, don't. 
Click the bell for notification. You will miss nothing. Right there is legal fire. They're putting the spotlight of people in the chili world, the competitive chili eaters that do the crazy, crazy things that I do. Right there are two relevant videos. And you, I love you. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase the Heat.